Riveting content. Empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. Riveting. This episode is sponsored by... This episode is sponsored by... Dr. Taraya M. Richmond, PLLC. When it comes to your family's health and women's services, and you're looking for excellence in healthcare, look no further than your family medicine physician, Dr. Taraya M. Richmond, PLLC. Call Dr. Richmond today at 713-453-6962 to schedule your next appointment. Dr. Taraya M. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. Looking to advertise? KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. KOG and Company. Hello and welcome back to the docs here on the Sphere TV. I am Dr. Chandra Batiste. I am a dentist and I am a, the proud owner of Elite Dental Wellness where we are there, of course, to fix your, fix your grill as needed. You can find me at my office, which is located at the corner of Fondren and Westheimer here in Houston, Texas. Um, and you can go to my website, which is www.houstondentalwellness.com. I am actually feeling way better than I felt last week. I'm so glad. To educate, empower, and inform <laughs> on the sphere. I love it. You look great. I'm way better. Did some calm app breathing. I did some calm app breathing courtesy of my <laughs> to check on me because I was in a in a dark space. Things that we do for love. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Dr. Simone Ellis, of course, and you can find me at Small Design Studios located at 6130 Highway 6 in Missouri City, Texas, of course, to get your smiles fixed as well. And of course, on Facebook, Simone Ellis, or on Instagram at Dr. Simone Ellis. And yes, that's what friends do when we are business owners and entrepreneurs. It is definitely life. But I'm so glad that we got your life together. Oh, you look great. I, I needed it. You like, needed I it? will tell <laughs> you that all of us i'm just telling you, you don't have friends like some of you you need to get them i need a chandra's in my life too well I, because i've done we've done it for each other oh absolutely you however need to have that lift up group i haven't needed it in in at least 13 months you've done really well yeah. I've done great. I mean, but you know what, you guys, one of the things that I think is super cool about uh, Ashandra is that not only is she a bomb.com dentist. Oh, well, thanks. And an entrepreneur. Thank you. I appreciate that. A mother that. of three. Who the three kids. And as, as wife. As like, soon as I got outnumbered <laughs> is when my life started to take a drastic turn. And you still find time to have a social life <laughs> as well as hang out with your husband and friends. And, you know, I just... Girl, I don't know how you do it. I'm just but glad the that my that edges are still here. Yeah, and I think that, that whatever drugs you here. take is I amazing. will never tell. Just, I will okay. never tell. It, it'll be my <laughs> secret forever because I need to hold on to this <laughs> for as long as possible. And yeah. I swear, like, my lips stay ashy. Wow. Well, okay, well. That's, they do. That's, they do. You know. So I don't have my life together. I tried to burn down my office last week. I didn't tell you that. Yeah, well, you do this like once a month. And I, you <laughs> no, know, it was, it was actually a physical burn down physical of my burn office. Down. Yeah, like my, my okay. makeup bag got caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> like all the way on fire. Well, as you have insurance, I think like the claims you get everybody paid. we will be good. Ain't got to worry about no, let me not go there about them. No, but I was so. seriously, I was like, oh, so like for like 0.5 seconds, I thought about. Do I burn? Do I blow this out? You can do speak something to existence. You've been talking about burning down this do practice. I blow this out? <laughs> <laughs> you can speak something to existence. This is happening. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, somebody who is probably not going to burn down her place <laughs> is our guest host. And I'm super excited to have uh, Coach.
City. Oh, what part? At Queens. Okay, cool. I lived. I went to school in New Jersey, so in oh, Newark. Okay. Oh, which school? UMD and J. Oh, cool. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Awesome. So, so you're. How long you been in Houston? Um, it will be four years in June. Oh, awesome. And and th- and these are. This is the the young lady that I ran into, correct, at the grocery store. Yes. So I ran into her and her fiance. Yes. At the grocery store because you have a baby. Yes. Like a little baby. Yes. I, right? Yeah, I think that was a little while ago. So I think she was five months. There we go. Oh, wow. Yes. So wow. I ran into them in the produce section. Because, like, I live off of <laughs> fruits and veggies at this point. Yeah. And, yeah, it's good for us, right? <laughs> and so her fiancé, Michael, yes. um, came up and introduced himself and said, uh, she's really shy. That's how he said it. He says yes. He, yeah, he's are outgoing. You really, one. Are you really shy? You know, it's not that I'm so shy. He's just so outgoing. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> so it's a comparison, it looks yeah, like it. we're together, like, he'll... I mean, he's just so outgoing, so I, I naturally fall to the oh, background. So he yeah. randomly just came up to you. Yeah, yeah. So, so from what I understand, they watched the show, or somebody watched the show. That's so yeah, cool. I, I, yeah, I used to watch there it. There we go. And he walked up and said, hey, my fiance, first off, we're fans, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, God, to, to even still hear that, still so, so, so wonderful, cool. A. But B uh, came up and said, hey, and he started bragging on her. Love is some love. He he immediately he was like, "We love you and your husband and your family." My fiance, boom, 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 boom. That is so awesome. And I think we go to the same church, Fountain of Praise. Yes. And like we've seen you a couple of times. Oh, right. Well, you should have come up then. Yes, but you know it's kind of weird in church. It was just like we are at one end, you guys at the other. So, yeah. So so he comes and he tells he tells he tells brags on her, tells her story, story, which I'm gonna let her say. Yeah. And I was like, we have a podcast. You need to come join us. Yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's so cool. I love that. Boom. There you go. A little backstory. A little backstory. (laughs) Go now. Proceed (laughs) about being from New York. I just wanted to throw out that I. Met this young lady. Now I've contributed nothing to this actual <laughs> production. No, you're here. However, however, I'm here and I'm better than I was last week. And that's Amen. All I ask for. Hey. And <laughs> I just so happened to be shopping for apples the day that she was shopping for sweet potatoes or something. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're from New York. Got here. Been in Houston. I guess four months. Met some cool people already. You guys are literally well for almost four years. Four years. Four, four years, years okay. in June. Um, yeah, and actually. Although I'm, I'm originally from New York, I relocated from Philadelphia. So okay. I, I moved there, and then I came down here. Um, and, you know, I came to Houston because, first of all, I saw lots of opportunity. Um, and also, just frankly, I was tired of the cold weather. Yeah. Girl, that, that New York weather is foolish. I, and that, it's still cold right now, which is It crazy. is. But it it's is. still cold here. Like, yeah. what is that? Yeah. I feel like we're getting, like, the, the rest of that cold air or something. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, Houston, We it's spring already. Gosh, I moved here for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. So got got a chance to have plenty of opportunity here. And did you did decide to become a speech pathologist? just here or were you one up north oh no yeah i was one up north so i um graduated in 2011 i went to hampton for my master's degree in university of buffalo for my undergraduate degree oh, cool. so by the time i moved here i had you know already been working maybe like three years i want to say okay and, and then i came down here to decide to work here mm-hmm. wonderful mm-hmm. so how do you like houston i like houston i like houston i, I have no complaints i mean now it's home it's uh, been almost four years so I'm accustomed to it. Cool. So, well, of course, we want to talk about hot topics. And one of the things that we were talking about before is next month is Better Speech and Hearing Month. So I didn't even know that they had cool months like this. And I didn't even know there was something specifically for the hearing and speech community. So tell us a little bit about that. Like, how did that even get started? And maybe, like, what can people do to get involved with this type of month? Sure. Better Speech and Hearing Month is something that's led by the um, association, uh, the American Speech and Hearing Association, excuse me, otherwise known as ASHA. And it's just to bring awareness to the thousands of people, not just children who have um, a variety of speech and hearing disorders from language delays to articulation disorders to um, stuttering difficulties and even what falls under that umbrella is even um, awareness about feeding 
difficulties because we also treat um, people who have feeding disorders, a variety of them. Yeah. So to uh, find out more, you can go to asha.org, A-S-H-A.org, and you can go there and look up providers in your area. You can receive um, a low-cost um speech and language screening, especially for young children in, in daycare or, you know, school-age children. And also, um, you can look for hearing screenings. And hearing screenings are really important to receive when um, you notice that your child may be a little delayed in learning and starting to speak. You, sometimes we don't even realize why that is, but especially if you have a, a young child who has had many ear infections, that, that's one of the red flags. So it's important for you to receive a hearing screening so you can identify any potential for delay. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So Absolutely. When, do you, when do you guys usually notice when kids start talking? Like, I mean, what is the speech time frame and then when should they really be able to respond to I think one of my one of my girlfriends has a child that um, was it was very obvious because our children were the same age right okay. so you have Logan at I guess it was around it had to be closer to two when like they're putting t words and sentences right. together where they're like I want juice now like it's very okay. clear mm -hmm. that they want juice now right um, and it's and even though like everyone can understand I want juice now the other, the other child was like would cry a lot yeah. and when they would talk it would be zero articulation mm, so and I'm like what now mom and dad understood and they're like oh you know she's just speaking kind of baby ease and I'm like mm. so like it was a delay in the articulation of her vocabulary oh wow and she cried all the time like all the what's time. the reason for the crying that they're well you can't communicate mm -hmm. and and one thing that's really important to note um and, and not saying that this was the situation sure. in your case but sure. so the language delays are one of the first signs of an autism spectrum disorder mm. oh, okay. so that's why it's really important so, you know, sometimes if you are proactive about identifying the language delay, then you end up finding out that there's something else there causing it. Mm. Now, this is very interesting because I, this young lady, um, they've been able to, they got her therapy. What was wrong with the child? She just was speech development, development just delayed. A late it, talker. It, it was late mm -hmm. talker. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with her ears. We thought it was hearing. Okay. They thought it was hearing. Everybody thought it was hearing, but it wasn't hearing. It was just a late talker. And she is on the, like, higher spectrum of brilliance. Mm -hmm. She still has communication issues. Like, she still, like, kind of cries incessantly. And, like, she's the same age as Logan. So, as you can imagine, like, a five-year-old that's always hollering, I'm like, <laughs> Is it that, what is it, not Asperger's? Is that but she's really smart. Like Isn't that Asperger's the other opposite of right, it? Like, right, where they're, like, really right. brilliant? She's exactly. really smart. So Kay. it would not surprise me if she's on a spectrum. Okay. It would not surprise me because she is smart and she's also extremely particular. Oh. Like, very much like. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. So that's usually what we see going on there. Right. Like you like and also you'll notice like social deficits. So it can be a child that is like the star of his or her class mm. but does not have um any friends. Mm. Just just quite honestly can't make friends. Um has a difficult time understanding figurative language, takes everything very literally. Th that's something that that you'll see. Yeah. Now this this child is the social butterfly, so that helps with whatever else. But oh, yeah. as far as smart, you know, I'm looking at Logan like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> you. She's like, so this portion, <laughs> like literally. And I'm like, are you four? <laughs> wow, that Make, awesome. makes me feel. I mean, so she's really smart. So I wonder if she's on a spectrum. Yeah. I wonder. But that's really cool. So for people who are listening to the show, of course, please check, check out uh, the website we put on um, up www.asha.org to find out about these health screenings, these uh, speech and learning language screenings that they can mm -hmm. have. And then, you know, when do you want to request a hearing screening? We had talked about that earlier. When should we be requesting that for kids? So... Okay, of course, we know that there's a newborn screening. You can really request it anytime. No, because I don't know that because I ain't got no newborn. Oh, I'm sorry. So, for the lay people. so yes. So, <laughs> we got to see our newborn. So we have, <laughs> of course, when you have a baby, they do the hearing screening in the hospital. Really? Yes. And yes. What, how would you, like, I don't know how they know. They just, I, 
I forget how they do it, but they have like there's many different machines now. So like they have like um, I, I don't remember really how they did my my daughters, but I know they have a, a like a vast array of ways to test it. Okay. Now. So you know like they can do it with the um, child not having to actively respond. Really. Even if they have an older child who may be intellectually disabled. Sure. Right. Like they have a variety of ways. But they to can't say. So they can't say. I, I can hear that. Right. Yeah. Heard, right. Yeah. They yeah, have sure. many ways, but um. Um, in terms of when to get receive it after that, if you have any suspicions, or if even if you have a child that, let's say, sometimes um, parents aren't informed enough to be suspicious about the child's mm-hmm. language development and learning, but if your child has frequent hair, um, excuse me, air infections, sometimes that can can um, turn into um, a language delay. Okay, mm-hmm. so we wanna definitely have people encouraged that know next month, we're probably gonna be doing a lot of free screenings for speech and language services and check out that website. And this portion of the show is sponsored by Dr. Taraya Richmond. Finding excellence in healthcare is no easy task. When you begin that journey, look no further than your local family medicine physician, Dr. Taraya Richmond. Dr. Richmond offers an array of services including pap smears, breast exams, STI screenings, contraceptive management, prenatal care, and so much more. So guys, give Dr. Taraya Richmond a call today at 713-453-6962. So that's pretty cool. And so I guess, Sashandra, let's move into finding a little bit more about who. Absolutely. Absolutely. So so we understand that you have um, you have something pretty amazing called Joy Care. What is Joy Care? Tell people in layman's terms, what is it? Okay, so Joy Care, um, the full name is Joy Care Pediatric Day Health Center, and it's essentially um, a daycare for children with medical needs. So it's classified Mm. as a prescribed pediatric extended care center in terms of under the state's um, acknowledgement of it, but it is is pretty much just a daycare for children with medical needs. So tell me this, with a child with medical needs, or what type of, what, what spectrum are we dealing with here? Are we dealing with, you know, highly functional to not so much? Are we dealing with where, where parents can drop off and pick up? Are we dealing with long term? Like, so give me the definition for what this means. Anyone who can, um, anyone who has to receive nursing services. Mm. So that can, I mean, and because it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the child's cognitive ability. So we have a wide array of children who are interested in attending joy care. So it's some children who may not be able to um, run on their own and speak on their own, um, as well as some children who can run, jump, and play just fine. However, they may have some um, cardiac defects. Mm. So for that reason, they need nursing services. So they're able to come to our center and receive a daycare experience while receiving the nursing care. Wow. And so why did you start this? Like, how did you get into doing, because you're a speech pathologist by trade, right? Right. And so how did you jump into doing something like pediatric care for a health center for children? So, although I'm a speech pathologist, I mostly did feeding therapy, and you work um, really closely with um, the with many children who have medical needs, uh, many children who are, whom are medically fragile, who may be too fed. And in doing that, although those children were receiving um, home nursing services, I, I just noticed that you know they were pretty much isolated. Right, because mm-hmm. they're not able to re, um, attend a typical daycare. I have many children right now waiting for us to open whose um, parents uh, pretty much, like, in order for them to go back to work comfortably, they're waiting for us because their child can't attend a typical daycare. Daycares oh, wow. can't accommodate the child mm-hmm. appropriately. Wow. So mm-hmm. what what age, I guess, what age group is this? Six you- weeks to 20 years of age. Oh, oh wow! Yeah, so oh. you're like a, oh my gosh! Wow, that's a mm-hmm. that's a large age group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that that's amazing. Thank you. So, so for the, that's okay. She's gonna get into it, I and I can't wait. I see. When the you said twenty, I was like, uh, it took me to like a completely different place. Yeah. I'm like. This becomes a much larger. Conversation. And if you guys want to follow Ashandra to that place of enlightenment, you can. 
<laughs> There's a way to do Come it. On, okay. Simone is going to tell you how to you do it. follow Ashana to her place of enlightenment where she's <laughs> going to ask all these amazing questions. You guys, we want you to do the couple things. You're going to have, we're turning off Facebook Live, so we want you guys to subscribe to our show on all our major platforms. That's going to include iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher. We want you to review our show, so give us some constructive feedback. Make sure you're sharing this Facebook Live with your friends and family across the globe. And please, of course, donate to our mission to bring in rich and inspiring content each and every week. You guys can donate at www.thespear.tv slash donate. So follow us on over because Ashandra is about to get into some good questions. I saw her wheels rolling Did you and see I can't it? wait to hear. So I mean, they're rolling in like several different places. So <laughs> I, got, I got an email getting shot out right now. Like, <laughs> and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm here. She's focused. I'm here. I'm so here. All right, okay. guys. So follow us on over. So yeah, okay. if you want to hear more. Yes. By all out. means. So, okay. So, so. You said 12 weeks. Uh, six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. So as early as I could put my thank you, you know, for my children who don't need your care. However, there are children who need this at six weeks. Absolutely. Because my daughter at six weeks, you know, so I, you know, I have a five. She is old. so delicious. Oh, gosh. She looks like Logan. It's kind of scary. I'm just like, God, they're like mini twins, right? So cute. I yeah. swear to God. I need to either get over this. <laughs> Or find a bag of money every day on my doorstep that's unmarked. And not like a small bag. I mean a big bag. <laughs> so I can have another kid. <laughs> She's so beautiful. if anybody wants to drop off a bag of money on my doorstep every day, I big bag, it. not small bag, <laughs> I'm, I'm available. Um, however, because I, don't, I can't imagine having other kids. However, at six weeks, and she started school today, right? Oh. I know. It's really cute. It's, my, it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet, right? Because it's, it's my last child. So uh, wait, hold on, let me knock on a whole bunch of well, I mean, somewhere. Do, <laughs> you could do some Listen. things to make sure that they don't happen no more. I'm just I know, I, know. Ricky's supposed to be getting a vasectomy. We've talked about this. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> and I this mean, supposed to be getting a vasectomy has been happening for six months. The way that y'all get oh my goodness. You I know. Mean. I trust me. <laughs> I know. This is a I PG show. Know, I know. I know. <laughs> this is a problem. This is why he needs to get the vasectomy. Anyway, my point is that today she walks, you know, I carry her in and she's looking around and you can just see like, this is, this is a new spot. Where am Aww. I? Like her head's just kind of on a swivel. I think that is very important and I feel bad for not putting my son into daycare earlier. I will yeah. say that. My son, I feel like, required it as far as the socialization piece and the and the desire to learn because my son does not give a damn. Mm. Even today. Doesn't give a damn. <laughs> Got in trouble today. Doesn't give a damn. How old is he? He's turning five soon. Five. Okay. Does not give two damn. So I feel like earlier education for him would have been would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Um, he stayed out of school. I think uh, he was at home for too long. My point is, is I feel like all children benefit from like being around other children, absolutely, especially in an environment that is learning. So that to have that at six weeks for any child who is a who who needs uh, like nursing is amazing. Up to twenty is even better because you know a twenty year old. We're we, at 20. We were around our own peers. Yeah, that's right. Of doing course. peer fun stuff. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like it would be nice that they still have that opportunity at 20. I think so. And our goal at, at Joy Care is pretty much for like the child or the adolescent in some cases to not feel different than mm -hmm. his or her non-disabled peers, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't want the child to feel like, oh, well, I'm going to that place with the nurses. No, we mm -hmm. want them to get excited like they're going to school. So we have created um, like a, a program where the child pretty much won't pay a lot of attention to the fact that they're there for nursing care. Yeah. We so, so how, I mean, how big is your facility and how many people do you have currently there? It's 6,600 square feet. Girl, let me talk about some entrepreneurship. <laughs> what? Where did you find 6,600 square feet? I know. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> so that's like my practice time. <laughs> time. <laughs> it is. And it's not too far from here. It's on um, Sands Point Drive. It's like 59 in Hillcroft area, right across the street from the Baker Ripley Center. Okay. The neighborhood centers. Are you guys familiar? Mm -mm. I ha one day when you guys are free, I'll have to have you come down Absolutely. and take a tour. So yeah. six thousand six hundred square feet. Shout out to this first and foremost. So that's like we'll get into entrepreneurship <laughs> and how that's been. How many uh, uh, 
children do you or adolescents do you have? So um, one thing I want to apologize for if we weren't clear, we're, we're pre-opening, so we're about to open. Oh. So like we're like we just finished up everything and we're doing our paperwork and we're about to open. So we we are really excited because we we're actually delayed um, in opening because the construction process is not a fun one. Girl, I, listen. I know you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. I, <laughs> Simone just laughs. I she just, like, I she, no she, she, <laughs> you, was it difficult for you too? Girl, we, what show is this? Is this called oh, Baby, Box? Look, there's not enough. We it's, need a box yeah. of wine, the yeah. cheap stuff too. Yeah, because we'd be here for all day and Because you would need some too right now, huh? Yes. Yeah. I, you mm-hmm. know what? I'm I, I'm sorry that you guys went through it too, but I'm happy to know I'm not alone. Oh, hey, no. Hey, I mean, hey. like across the board, I feel like GC's general contractors do that shit for fun. Like they like, let me make your life. Yes. Miserable. And then let me make sure you have to pay for everything on the back end because you just don't know. And what you just don't know, you just don't know. And so that's unfortunate. So you have a wait list, I'm assuming, for people that is. That is already awesome. So people are already ready to sign up. And how have you been... um, I guess, why is Joy, Joy Care so different? Well, we are the first facility of our type in Houston. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of something Mm, like this. No. Maybe I have, but I w- did not pay it. I did not give it enough attention. And Meaning, it w- it, you know, on like the global spectrum. Right. right? I thank God that you haven't had to, right? Because like essentially, no, like, like yeah, you, my my children, children are, are not gray, disabled, right? right? Yeah. I mean, unless you call a disability of not giving a damn, yeah. <laughs> then my son would be a walking like, middle finger. He, he's on the spectrum. <laughs> no, he is. He's a walking middle finger. If he came in right now, he would like do something that you'd be like, he does not care about anything <laughs> that is at too all. Funny. Besides his, besides his black pants their hair at this moment he has black panther hair. oh nice. i love that which, so i have which, to do his hair every which morning which person on black panther we're uh, talking the about only black T'Challa? panther yeah uh-uh because what's his name was fine well you can't be you can't be killmonger fine. Uh, killmonger fine you talking about oh are you talking about the ape uh, uh, i went to college with him the ape um, Winston. I went yeah. to college with his Winston. His name is Winston. Winston, Winston Duke. Duke. The one Jabari. Yeah. 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 yeah, I went to college he with him. Mm-hmm. He is fine. Mm. He okay. is fine. <laughs> 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 oh, that bigness. There okay, was, so. <laughs> there's a lot of black boy joy in that entire, oh. Ent- oh. Yeah. entire movie. <laughs> yes. My, but my son is officially T'Challa. Uh, okay, yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you got a wait list going on, and what makes Drake here different? Well, first of all, this is coming from, like, a place of passion. So for me, the reason why I wanted to do it is I saw that the need needed to be filled, right? And that actually played a large part into why I relocated to Texas. Because when I was moving down here is when they were working out the legislation for it to be able to exist here. Because um, a PPEX is what the facility is classified as, right? A PPEX, um, those only exist in seven states in the country. So I knew Texas was going to be one of them. Yeah. And where I was in um, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania is also one. So I was familiar with the facilities. And there were some that I would you know, um, work in, but I felt that I could make the program better. So I've added elements to just enrich the experience, not only for the child, but for the family as well. That's, that's, I, I'm, I'm really excited to hear about that. What services are you offering? So one thing that will make us really special is our parent support group. So outside of that, we have speech therapy, physical therapy, and occupational therapy. But the parent support group is really something I'm proud of. Uh, We've already partnered with Legacy um, Community Health Clinic so that they can come into the clinic and teach um, classes to our parents. So classes on nutrition Mm -hmm. and um, oral hygiene for the children because, you know, a lot of our babies will maybe have sensory Um, difficulties where they may not tolerate a toothbrush so they're going to teach you know some some tricks on how to keep their mouths nice and clean which of course i'm sure you ladies we appreciate much about (laughs) yeah (laughs) yes i don't think um i don't see a lot of special needs but i do have a girlfriend uh dr foster latrice foster who sees Ah. children that with special needs and yeah um that would be definitely something also to probably get you plugged in with that to have have a dentist that can be able to treat yeah that would be awesome yeah Yeah. i I have a um i have a uh a young a young man who i've been seeing for years now and he, he's a special needs young man. He's at this point 23 or four. Okay. And his mom brought him to me specifically because she kind of went down the, you know, went down the Google list and was like, oh, female, mm-hmm. young, 
and she met me and she let she let her son pick because his her son is very particular about uh the the sex of his doctors meaning women only interesting women only um because he feels like men aren't patient enough this and they don't the have assignments? no this is the the son oh wow he might and, be onto something though. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. women aren't pa- where men are not patient enough and she said this to me and she said it's also a, a, a tone of voice Women's tone, my, and she was like, she was like, if your tone would have been too screechy or high, he would not have tolerated you. Meaning, mm. I wouldn't have been able to talk to him because he would have like, my the, my tone of voice would have like, graded him yeah. so bad that he would not have tolerated me. Mm. So, um, let let's let's talk about what we are, what we do need to tolerate though. We need to tolerate some more advertisements. Yeah. On this sphere. So maybe when you get going, you can come <laughs> yes. and do an ad for us. Awesome, of course. Absolutely not now, because you know you got you got you got some stuff you got to handle. Yes. yes, but soon and very soon. Um, if you're starting your business. Like Katisha, <laughs> um, and and looking for a place to advertise. Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at the Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at thesphere.tv. That's pretty good. I think you need to advertise over here. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. I mean, we're gonna give her. We're gonna give her a solid give year a because yeah. with the oh, the first one in yeah. Houston. That's yeah, awesome. we're the first one. She'll, she'll, she'll. She's gonna blow up. So what's gonna be your capacity? Yeah, what's gonna be your capacity? Sixty, 60 kids or and sixty young people. Sixty kids. Oh yeah, sixty young people. And how many people have you already got on the wait list so far? I got twenty six. Wow. Wow. So you're almost halfway there. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So, so with you having this parent support group coming from Legacy, um, what other services um, are you going to be able to provide? You have parent support group, and then of course nurses. So, what type yes. of level of nurses are we dealing with here? Like, what does that really mean? So, we have RNs or registered nurses, um, LVNs or licensed vocational nurses, and then um, nursing aides. Okay. So there'll be the, those three levels, and of course we have our um, nurse manager or nurse administrator, rather, who is an RN with about 15 years of pediatric nursing experience, and she's worked uh, mostly in neurology. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. And so then you have therapy there. So you have what what what, what types of therapies? Speech therapy, okay. physical therapy, perfect. occupational therapy. That's perfect. Yes. That's perfect. So it's pretty much a, a one-stop shop. For right? everything. Right. So when the child comes there, by the time he or she goes home, they're supposed to be done with their day. And right now what's happening is it's almost like a part-time job sometimes for parents, mm-hmm. coordinating all the mm-hmm. care, mm-hmm. especially for children that have like all three therapies and then have frequent doctor visits and nursing. So when the child leaves at 530, everything should be complete. Well, that's awesome. So do you, I right. know, like, I mean, uh, this is, I, I guess, it's really, I think it's really it's the kind of my bug. Right? Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, we're really so, proud of you. So, like, what about you. the educational element? Is there an educational element in this? Meaning, the kids that, like you said, can run and jump and skip mm-hmm. and hop, is there an element to, like, okay, well, they can actually go to a more traditional school and then do they come to you after? Or what's the, is there any sort of education in this at all? So, yeah, it's, it's a case by case basis okay. because there will be some children who, um, maybe will have like half a day with us who might go to school okay. and then come to us. But for the little guys, most of the little guys will be there all day. Okay. So we do have a curriculum. So we do have like a, a daycare type curriculum. Okay. We okay. have not yet mo- moved into having our own special education teacher. However, we have space for a homebound teacher to come in. Oh, okay. nice. Yes. Nice. Mm-hmm. So that's part of your growth plan. Right, exactly. And so for right now, like the district is more than welcome to send the homebound teacher to us. And we've been um, having those discussions with them. And, and really, they like the idea because it's better for the teacher. Um, the teacher can come to our facility and see three different children as opposed to 
have to drive around. So. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it like to be a parent with special needs? Because you talked about that parent support group, and I mean, for people who are listening who have children with special needs, like, you know, your your services are going to be offering a pretty good support group for that. But what is it like for that parent, and how is your facility going to help make sure that these parents are okay? So for many parents, it is um, it can be very isolating. So in being um, a speech therapist, I would uh, do home visits, and there were many, many times where I was kind of like the friend for the mom, mm -hmm. right, who could not go back to work, who was unhappy with the nursing care and that sort of thing. And what I gathered is that many times it is somewhat isolating because people around you often don't understand, even when they try to. And sometimes, like, even your family, I mean, they'll be well-meaning, but they may, like, dismiss certain things. Like um, children who have to be tube-fed, you know, you might hear, oh, well, girl, just, you know, cut it this way and get them to eat. And it's like, no, the child, my child's not eating by um, his mouth because he has a disability. So it, it, from what I've gathered, it, it can be isolating you. It can be very stressful. Right, because I have several parents who, like I said, who are waiting for us to open to either get a job or go back to school. And especially for those parents who are single parents, it can be a very, very long road, and then you're often fighting to find resources that may, diff may be difficult for you to find. Mm -hmm. So with our parent support group, it's an opportunity, one, for the parents to get together and receive education. Because aside from our partnership with Legacy, we That's plan amazing. on having guest speakers, so IEP advocates, um, social workers, people to come and educate our families, and also to give them the opportunity to network with each other, right? You know, w w at, in a typical school setting, you know, they may feel like, oh, you know, well, it's only, I don't know, my child is in life skills, it's only for the kids in here, for yeah. the parents, for me to have a, build a community with. But at Joy Care, there'll be 60 families to build a community with. I love it. So you have, um, you have the option to have where there's these parent support groups and, and these wonderful, I mean, everything that you're saying, I'm just like, you seem to have thought of everything. <laughs> oh, thank you. So are you, guys, are you guys currently working with HISD or Fort Bend ISD or any of the ISDs to get some of these educational pieces? And then mm -hmm. the other thing, I guess the other question I have is, is that, um, oh, man. Answer that one first, because I like okay. one fluttered out of my head. So yeah, we we have already started reaching out to them. So okay. everyone was pretty much waiting for the building to be finished. Oh, nice. So now that the building is finished, Love we are that. sending emails saying, "Hello, guys, did come you on and tour to the do facility." It like a retail shopping center, or you built from the ground up. What did you do? No, we didn't build from the ground up. It's a standalone building. Okay. Um, it it is a standalone brick building, and like. There's we don't we have like our own space our own parking lot and that sort of thing. Okay. What mm -hmm. gave you this idea? Um, it was it was really just like it's constantly seeing the same story over and uh, story over and over, and I have been like there when moms have been crying and and mm -hmm. I I just wanted to to help. Sure. And when where I was working in um, Philadelphia, like it, it was a similar concept, but. It wasn't all the way executed, a way that okay. I felt could be, like, the most effective. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I tried well, to... Well, because I'm just like, this is a very large um, endeavor that you have been, mm -hmm. yes. that God has put on your shoulders. Yes. And you're young, which is fantastic. Thank you. Um, and really I know I know that it will be blessed. Yes. I'm just like, this is, this is uh -huh. a grandiose idea that needs a lot of support. Yes. Now, do you get state funding with this? No, ma'am. This is privately funded? It is privately funded. Let, let me tell you. I have... <laughs> yeah. I just knew she had state funding no. with this. Uh, no. So, I can tell you guys, I started my business plan January 2015. So, this has been a long road. And for me to get funding, first of all, let me tell you about how when I first went to the banks, because they had nothing to compare it to, yeah, they, they were like, just like, okay, well, we need uh, something comparable. It's like, well, that's the thing. It, they're like, well, can you use a regular daycare? No. You These know? are special needs kids, so you can't use a regular daycare. Right, and our rates are different. Like, we build insurance. The parents, oh, that's another thing. So it's covered by Medicaid. So the parents are, are not paying. 
Most of our parents are not paying. It's right, so it's by covered Medicaid. by Medicaid. So, right. like, you will be getting checks from the government. From the government. But in terms of, like, the build-out and everything, it's private. I had to – how I ended up getting funding is I – 6,600 square feet? I, I, I'm like, you know – You know I'm, I'm doing the math. Yeah, I just like, did a build-out. And it's you, so you guys already know if you've done like, build outs really how rough how rough it is. I'm like, wait a minute, it's, like I need to pull out my calculator. Yeah. So for me to get, uh, trust me, oh, if it was all on me, it would be possible. I went to pitch competitions and then I found investors. So, so you have some investors. Helping I you. have I have two investors, two b- investors slash business like, partners. I didn't even take like I mean, if we could speak, we would speak off camera. But I'm like, I just I'm in my mind, I am literally running numbers. I'm like, how much did something like this cost? Oh, oh, this is over a million dollar project. That's exactly right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Be. So by the time you no, do Absolutely. It's got to I be. mean because you you have to do everything everything's at like special like d- like special needs That's right. capacity, Close. right? So everything's at special needs capacity, right? So you're not talking about yeah, every it's not like everything a, that you absolutely. have is ramps Girl, and and like and like right. wheelchair accessible and, ha- and bars everywhere everything. and like I was I was literally looking at my bathroom quotes and was like wait a minute why frustrated they be this about big? this dang why they gotta be this big yeah. it was like because you need room for disability like, no I don't <laughs> yes. Yes. And you need a whole like restrooms. We I, we have how many restrooms? I want to say one, two, three, and we have six. Mm. Six. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, everything you guys it. are saying, I went so, into shock. I can tell you that. Yeah, I went I'm into sure. shock. It's three times more than what we thought it would cost. Oh, I believe it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So was mine. So, mm. yeah. Oh, so that, yeah. this is a normal thing, too. I, you know what? I guess I was such a rookie. Everyone keeps saying that. I'll, I'll like, uh, like, oh, by the way, we have medical directors. I forgot to add that. So okay. we, we have two pediatricians on on staff. But um, when I express some of my frustrations to them, they're like, oh, I'll practice open five months late. Like, oh, okay, so this is just a thing. Yeah, it shouldn't be a thing, late. but it is definitely a thing. So, so, <laughs> um, this, Girl. so th- I feel, I feel very um, inadequate today. <laughs> I, I mean, this is like, it's, this is no, you were really like, we're, I, the amount of, I think, admiration that both of us are probably sitting here thinking like, this is amazing. Oh, and we're super amazing. excited Thank about you. it for you. Yeah, Cause that's, this is really amazing. This is huge. This is um, huge. This is huge. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll, as is, as is this ad, just so y'all know, um, <laughs> the, this, this portion of the show is actually sponsored by Cog and Company or KOG. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash Your Dopeness is a people empowerment movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop dope gear at kogpassion.com. That's kogpassion.com and use coupon code DOPE for 10% off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now. Sizes are selling out fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm sitting here really running the numbers. Today I got the calls from all the banks about the money that I'm trying to build a practice, and I'm just like... you looking at it like, whoa, player. <sighs> so funding is yeah. definitely fun. So Funding so, is fun. <laughs> so I have zero, zero desire to ever fund anything else again. That's why we were talking earlier. <laughs> you know, my husband and I are considering moving, and I'm like, that's on you, boo. You scared. <laughs> I have, I don't want to do it. I just yeah. don't want. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk to a bank. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm. I'm like, let me work inside of my bubble of being a dentist because yeah. I do not want to talk about funding anything else for another probably five years. The money is not fun. It's the fun is funding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's fun there's in finding funding. There is no fun in funding. Yeah. There's no fun in it. Well, but know, however, I, however, with this idea, I'm not lying. Like when I tell you, um, she's and got I'm, a niche. Really, like it's gonna be off the chain yeah well because this is the reality of it like the the thing for her is that all you have to do is fill the beds because these people a lot of these people are getting medicare to pay for this yeah. mm-hmm. and like um my my husband's my husband's cousin has a special needs son 
I, and I can't remember his diagnosis, so mm -hmm. please don't please don't make me try to recover, like remember it. But he is wheelchair bound. He is 12 years old. He does not speak. He doesn't have um, muscle movement. He has to be picked up. He has to be changed. He has to be his, his food has to be pureed. Sounds like one of our babies. Yeah, yeah. It's a oh, well, it's, even the, um, it's your baby. It's a baby that the you will owner, see. his brother is special oh, needs. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 So so you're talking about. I mean, he is a. He is a um, he is a full time job for the family members that take care of him, and they get money from somebody to take yeah. care of him yeah. yearly. But then, because all of it, like his wheelchair, when he grew out of it, is Medicare. Mm -hmm. Medicare takes care of it. Um, so he would be somebody that would be seen in your facility. Um, his now, of course, because he doesn't communicate, like we don't know what's his cognitive abilities. Yeah. Like, and that's sad, right? Because you, we talk to him and treat him as if. He can understand us. So he doesn't have a device, like um, the he, assistive communication device? No, he can't do it. There's nothing about him that, like... Even with his eyes? They have the eye gaze. He, he's not cognitively able to. Okay. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm, well, mm -mm. I mean, what are some of the challenges that you've faced? I mean, we just talked about construction. Really, and I mean, funding and, and funding. finding the money. So but even as a black investor, like, I like to always throw that back young. in there. You're young. Yeah, oh, these you. are like black so female. many... Black female. Young. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. At you one know. point, we were those too. Girl, I got my yeah, weave done you. yesterday. And let me tell grace. you how many grace. I was just about to <laughs> say that. You I had her. I was like, you were pulling for days. Like, I think a whole patch of my hair you came out. I used to Don't be worry young. About it. You'll, you'll, they're called, they're called, <sighs> um, they're called experience. You'll get Girl. a couple. <laughs> Girl. So you probably grew some in this funding be, battle. But I was about to say. I, how I much weight did you lose or gain? So, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I immediately got, after I had my baby, I got down to my, my pre-baby size very quickly. And people were like, oh, girl, you look so good. I'm like, I am stressed. Mm. If you had a dose of my daily activities, what's going on on my phone, whatever's happening, you would be thin too. Like, Pe I think people that People don't understand why I vacation so hard. And yeah. the only reason why is that the level of sanity that it takes... I think I think that that's that's hard. a great release for like Simone needs it right. The, one of the reasons why I was oh, a I need bitch it. last week was I hadn't been able to work out, and yeah. I need yeah, to work that's out. My thing too, right, I can't. Vacation. You got to figure I'm out not a good vacationer. Well, and that's not yeah, it's not, not for right, everybody. Not for, for me, I need to literally. Simone. Oh yeah, Simone has I, to like like unplug. I'm like okay, so like literally, I was like I have not been on a plane in how long, and so it's, it's happening. Been two weeks. And I'm like Thursday oh, on a plane. Cause I where are you going this week? Miami for my Lance's wedding. Oh man, like, I'm going to I'm going to Miami next weekend. Oh, I was about to say, are you going this weekend? No, I'm going to TDA next week though. Oh, that'll be fun. I'm taking my whole team. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? Where is that in San Antonio? Austin. Austin? I'm in San Antonio. Yeah. Sorry, sidebar. Anyway, okay. what are some of your <laughs> as a black female young entrepreneur? What do you feel like was your biggest challenge? If mm. you could just name one. So You know, one, one thing that I'll say that's funny, well, aside from, like, the financing and once I overcame that battle, I have um, an employee, right, who, who started, um, you know, working on policies. And it's funny that people will assume that she's my boss, right? Mm. That's <laughs> something, and, like, they don't, and, like, there, boss. there's mm. been times that people call and I explain that to them. They're like, well, I want to speak to someone, like, the owner. And I said, well, that's me. Right, mm -hmm. and like they don't know what I look like or anything. So it's it's been like little things like that. For the most part, my experience has been positive. But every once in a while, like if we go to like an event and the two of us are together, they assume she is my boss. Who is she? Uh, my, excuse me, my, my employee, my nurse manager. And she's awesome. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. But you know, she she um, let she her looks the part. Yes, she, right. She she looks the girl. Part. Let them have it. I'd be like, mm -hmm, she the boss. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> she the boss. Go ahead and talk to her. You you want whatever it? you need to sign up because these dollar bills all look the same. <laughs> girl, listen. At the end of this day. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, um, I think to last but not least, we just want to know what is changing in the world of speech like Path. I know that we've kind of talked about what you're doing with Joy Care, but yeah. where do you feel like the future of, you know, what speech path is going to look like i know we talked about it from a dental standpoint you know corporations and yeah. how dentistry is changing but for you what do you think is going to be different i think um speech therapy is going to be more center-based than it is now 
I know, um, especially in Texas, um, home health is really a big deal, but I really think that it's going to be going toward more like outpatient therapy. I think that um, the goals would be more specific. I know that's something the state of Texas has been pushing for, um, for there to be higher outcomes, more specific goals so that there are higher outcomes. So ultimately, it will be more effective. So more center-based and a little bit more effective where we can measure the goals a bit better. Well, I'm going to tell you, everything, I knew you were coming, but I didn't know the scope of what you were doing. Oh. And um, I really feel very proud of you. Oh, thank and if you don't you. hear that enough, I hope you do as the days keep going, oh, because it's you. very, it's a large endeavor that you've taken on. Um, you. And to not have a template or like a hard down template, like I have somebody I can call. Right every day of the week if I wanted to. I have some bodies, right? I have Simone I can call, which I do all the time. Um, you don't. No. And you didn't. And so I think that God only puts things on our spirit that he knows that we can handle. So this is such a big deal, and it's so needed. Clearly, it's Clearly. needed. Um, and I think that parents will be so grateful that they can do what I do, which is drop my kids off at school and go handle my business and go be able to be a, a pro- feel like I am more productive outside of my home than I could be inside of my home. Yeah. So I think that anyone out there who has, a mo- all of us know someone. I don't care. They, we know someone that could need her services. Oh, yeah. And I mean, I think that I agree with Ashandra if I chime in with her, but creating this niche, figuring it out, being strategic enough even to where you moved and being intentional with how you started it. I mean, that yeah i mean like (laughs) that vision is real and i agree with her like when god puts a passion on your heart and seeing it executed i think we don't want anything but the best for you and we are going to be rooting for you cheering you on we are so cheering i i i I think this is awesome so my my, i'm going to get your contact information just because you need some people on your team you're not from houston no i I need some people on your team Yes, right now I am a lone soldier. Mine is yeah. my my business partners and my loving fiance yeah. and family. Awesome. Is he from Houston? Yeah. No, no, he's from Virginia. I met oh, him. God. We met when um, I was in graduate school in Virginia. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's get let's let's get her because you probably well have first it. let's find out where we can find her. Right, well, like I want her private information. Oh, so right? she's talking about offline, but <laughs> so, so I online, guess like online. Anybody, anybody who needs your information. Yeah. Please tell them when you're opening, how they can get in touch with you. If they have somebody that they want to register, give them everything. Okay, so um, we anticipate opening um, within the next month. We actually have an event planned um, in May. So we are hoping that we make that deadline so that um, we can open. So within the next month, and you can reach out to me via phone at 713-929-CARE, which is 713-929-2273. You can visit our website, drakehairkids.com. Or if you'd like to contact me directly, you can email me at cburke at joycarekids.com. Girl, just continue to do it. And of course, you guys can find me. I'm Dr. Simone Ellis at Smile Design Studios at 6130 Highway 6 in Missouri City, Texas. Or reach out to me on Instagram, Dr. Simone Ellis, or on Facebook, Simone Ellis. And where about you, my love? Well, um, I am, of course, Dr. Chandra Batiste. I am so glad I feel better today because today was really a great, great show, great episode. Um, you can find me bussing down teeth. What? I do every day. (laughs) Every day. (laughs) Uh, Monday through Thursday, actually, because on Fridays I'm at the dental school. What, what? Um, So I am at located in my private dental office, Elite Dental Wellness, which is located at the corner of Fondren and Westheimer. You can call me at 713-789-8680. Or if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at hotdoc.com or Facebook and Twitter, Ashandra Batiste. We appreciate you guys joining us for the show. Of course, we'll be back next week. However, this week was epic. I mean, it was awesome. So thank, thank you, you so much for joining she us She seems today. so sweet. Too. She's just like so me. humble. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. Stay that way. It's a good thing. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Peace out. Bye, guys. Man, I know what you're doing is pretty. That's. Thanks.